In this problem, we're told a ball is thrown straight up. It passes a 2 meter high window, 7.5 meters off the ground on its path up and takes 1.3 seconds to go past the window. What was the ball's initial velocity? Right, so we're going to have this ball, right, and so its initial velocity is what we're trying to find, which we don't know what that is. So it's going to be thrown up, right, it's going to travel 7.5 meters, right, and then it's going to reach a 2 meter high window, it's going to travel past that, right, and it's going to reach, uh, right, it's going to go past it, right. And so what we know is that it's going to take 1.3 seconds from the ball to start to go all the way past this window, right? And so that's basically what's going on. And so what you want to do next is write down your given. So what information are we given in order to solve this problem? So what we're going to do is use kinematics. So what we want to do is pick an interval to which we know some information that we can solve for V sub zero, right? So we'll say V sub zero equals question mark because that's what we're solving for. So the interval we're going to choose is the uh, time, right? So they give us the time. It's going to take 1.3 seconds. So what we want to choose is some variables we know for that. So we know that it's uh, the distance it travels in 1.3 seconds is this whole distance right here, which is going to be 7.5 meters plus 2. So 9.5 meters essentially, right? Those added up. So the change in y in this interval is 9.5 meters, okay? And then the other variable that we know, it's not told, but it's assumed that acceleration is uh, going to be minus for this, right? Minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Right, because acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared, but we're going to say it's negative because it acceleration is downwards, right? Because gravity is pulling it down, so acceleration slows it down, right? So minus 9.8 meters per second squared, that's going to be acceleration. So we know t, we know delta y, and we know a. And so since we know those, what we can do is go ahead and solve for v sub zero, right, using one of the kinematic equations. So the one we're going to use is this one right here, which is, it says delta x, but you can use delta y, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, so delta y equals v sub zero times t plus one half a t squared. Because right, notice we know t, we know delta y, and then we know a. So the only one left is v sub 0, which is what we want to find. So all we got to do is plug in. So the change in y is 9.5, which equals v sub 0 times t, which is 1.3, plus 1 half times a, which we said was in the minus 9.8, times t squared. So just 1.3 squared. So go ahead and solve this. Right. So I'm just going to add this up. So 0 0.5 times minus 9.8 times 1.3 squared. So when you do that, this is going to be 9.5 equals 1.3 times v sub 0. Then this is minus 8.281. So I'm going to add this to both sides. So 9.5 plus 8.281. You're going to get 17.781 equals 1.3 times v sub 0 divided by 1.3. So dividing by 1.3, you're going to get that it equals, or V sub 0 is 13.677, uh, 69, and so on. I'm just going to round to 13.7. So 13.7, and then the units are going to be meters per second, right? Because that's what we measure velocity in. So 13.7 meters per second, that's going to be the ball's initial velocity. But yeah, so this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.